Lorena Gonzalez has long been an influential labor leader. Now she heads to Sacramento, where she says it's time to get down to the business of creating jobs, protecting health care, and making schools better. Lorena Gonzalez joins me now to discuss some of the big issues facing the state in upcoming months. You said in a speech last night that you wanted union leaders to run for office so they could represent mm -hmm. workers' interests. What are workers' interests? I, I think it's quite simple. Union leaders are used to advocating on behalf of workers and in particular all workers for me and they're about having a uh, good quality job and access to health care to having a voice in the workplace I think those are things that uh, have been missing as far as advocates in the uh, state assembly and the city council and that it's good to have a balance California is known nationwide for its strict air pollution standards. There's talk of reviving the fossil fuel industry through the oil and gas extraction process known as fracking. What's your position on this? Well, you know, I've said all along that I'm going to look at the science of it. And I think you have to separate the two things. Our dependence on fossil fuels needs to be reduced whether we're fracking or not. But there's still going to be fossil fuels available in the world, and that's a reality. So um, I think we have to deal with the air pollution issues. With fracking, we have to deal with the specific issues uh, in the environmental concerns around fracking. That's groundwater contamination. If, if earthquake threats could, could cause some kind of um, uneasiness or some unease in what's happening under underground and to know what exactly they're putting into the earth. So they're very different environmental concerns for me. I wouldn't vote against fracking just because I want to reduce fossil fuels. I would vote against fracking if I think that there's a contamination issue with our groundwater. So environmentalists want tough regulations imposed on fracking, and they're worried, as you said, about water pollution. You're a labor leader. You like jobs. Mm -hmm. Some people say that the Monterey Shale contains enough oil mm -hmm. to basically it's the equivalent of five years' worth of the petroleum imports to the United States. How do you balance economic interests with environmental interests? So I think with the fracking discussion, it's quite simple. I, I really want those jobs. Those are going to be good jobs if, if they're developed. However, if we can't ensure that we're going to have clean groundwater, then it's something that we just can't do. We can't jeopardize an entire water supply because we want uh, good jobs. So I, I don't think that it's necessarily a balance in that sense. It's let me look at the science, let me feel comfortable or not feel comfortable with it. Um, and if there are regulations that we can impose upon fracking to ensure that we're going to have clean water, that we know what's going into the earth, and we we can still have those jobs even better. Very quickly, California has $3 billion in additional revenue. There's expected to be a fight over this money. Mm -hmm. How do you want to see this, this money spent in 10 seconds? Wow. <laughs> Obviously, we need to spend more on education, but we also need to look at Medi-Cal reimbursements. We have to ensure that there's going to be uh, doctors who will accept Medi-Cal. We can't keep cutting that. And we've got to close it there. Lorena Gonzalez, thanks for coming in. Thank you.